Now, if you have an elderly relative or somebody who's a little bit uh, unsteady on their feet, there are solutions out there and have been for a long time to enable them to summon help if they were to fall over. Now, because technology comes to the rescue with some modern, up-to-date and slightly slimmer looking devices that can make that process a lot easier for everybody involved. And I'm gonna look at one of those today. It's the VSOS Band by Vodafone. Modern technology has come up with some slightly better solutions for devices that can summon help if you're a bit unfirm on your feet, a bit unsteady, and you come a cropper and fall over. Rather than these devices like the ones that you hang around your neck that have been around for quite a long time, Vodafone, for example, have come up with the VSOS band. And this is a bit like a watch. You simply wear it on your wrist. There is a base station that you plug in at home. And then the band can actually communicate with people via an app to tell them if you're in trouble and to also even give them your location. So modern technology working really well. So I've got a VSOS band for, an, uh, for a relative, for my mother, who is a little bit unsteady on, on her feet and has had a couple of falls. So this gives her a sense that yes, somebody can come and help her if she gets into trouble. Please watch to the end, especially if you want to know about setting it up and you may have similar problems to me because things change a little bit later on. So let's have a look at, uh, this is a bit of video that I recorded a while ago coming up. Uh, when I very first set the band up and it's me spouting off a bit about the setup process. Uh, now it says on here, and you'd think that this was going to be easy and straightforward, it says on here, download the V by Vodafone app, activate your VSOS band and subscription, download the VSOS band by Vodafone app to finalise setup, update your user profile, put it on and away you go. It sounds straightforward, but in actual fact it's been a monumental pain in the butt because You've, first of all, there are two apps that you have to run in order to use this thing. One is the V by Vodafone app. Now, fair enough, that they do lots of different products. There's not just this SOS band, there are other products as well in the V range. So you've got one master app where you um, assign and set up different uh, products that you may buy. Then the VSOS app is separate. And I suppose I can understand that because then other people in your family can download just the SOS app and it can also send them messages to if uh, an elderly relative were to fall or, um, or press the SOS emergency button or whatever. So I can't criticize them necessarily for that. Um, however, it has been a pain to set up because the way it works is that when you go into the V by Vodafone app, it expects you to put in your mobile number. Now that is fine. If you put in your Vodafone customer, it will then attach the fee for whatever you are, are, are operating to your Vodafone account. Now, I'm a Vodafone business customer, so I don't want the Vodafone, the V by Vodafone app, or in this case, the SOS band, I don't want the fee for it to be charged to my business account because it's not a business expense. And it just starts getting all pain, you've got to start taking things off. And I, I, I don't want that. I want to be able to put in my personal credit card details in order to pay for it. But oh no, you can't do that. Now I found a very useful website where uh, you can just put in a mobile number that's on this website and it's specifically there for getting one-time passcodes and all this kind of thing. I, I don't say the good or bad at doing that. There may be very good reasons why you don't want to do that. Security reasons, I don't know. But I decided in this particular case it wasn't going to be a problem and that's what I did. I used one of those. So when I put this number in from this website, it detected it wasn't a Vodafone number, and then I was able to put in credit card details to pay the bill for the, uh, the it's four pounds a month for the for the SOS bank. But it was such a pain, such a pain to get it to get it to work like that. And it, I had to jump through hoops in order to get it to work like that. And Vodafone tell me that they are working on a system where you will be able to optionally use uh, a credit card even if you're a Vodafone customer. But whether that ever happens or whether they were just saying that because that's what I wanted to hear, I really don't know. So we'll charge up the band and then we'll send a test alert. Right, so now what I've done is to press and hold this little button on the side for three seconds. And what that does, as you can see, it's flashing on the screen and that means that it is sending an alert. So I should receive an alert on my mobile. And funnily enough, as I'm recording this, it has, it's popped up to say an SOS has appeared. And you can see now that the band color has changed. It's changed to a kind of an amber color. That means that it's telling the person who's wearing the watch 
that the message has been delivered, that an SOS has been sent. Now, I'm actually recording this on my phone, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna flip over on my phone and tell the app that I have, that I am reacting to this call, this SOS, and then that means that this should change to green. So let me just do that, I'll be back in a moment. Right, here we are then. So we've got the app running on the right hand side that I've sent an alert from the band. The band is flashing yellow, as I said a moment ago, amber yellow, to say that the alert has been received by one of the support people, which is me. I can then, in the app, I can either hear message the group of people, you can add, a, I think, a total of five people in uh, across apps, across iOS or Android, uh, and you can message people, you can call people in order to liaise with who's going to actually support this person. I'm now going to tap the button to say, I'll help. So I'm going to tap that button there, I'll help. And then it's there, um, so I tell him, yeah, fine, it's just confirming what's going to happen. So I'll hit the I'll help button. And it's come up at the top there, you can see Andy Clayton is helping. And you can see on the band, which I've now knocked over, that's gone green. So that then tells the person who has fallen over that uh, help is on the way. Then, in order to keep other people that are on the app up to date with what is happening, I can then say, I can either send them a message or call them, or I can say that the emergency is over. So I'm gonna tap that button, say the emergency is over. Um, is the emergency over? Let everyone know, and you can have a little message telling everybody what happened. So I can put on here, just, testing and then mark emergency is over there we go emergency has been declared as over and that will be if I get rid of that that will then be in the app activity you can see that the um, watch is now clear the band is now clear and in the activity you can see here the details there of the uh, you can see battery charging battery charging and there emergency over and if I go in there it will actually give all the details of the emergency that we were looking at just a moment ago. So I know I blurred some of this out because obviously it's got personal details on it, but you can get the general idea of, of what this is doing and how it's working. But you can see that both of these are, are working together and we work quite well with um, the other people uh, in the group as well in order to keep them updated with what, what is going on. And also, of course, the person, the elderly relative, or the person, doesn't necessarily have to be an elderly relative, somebody who's perhaps a little bit dodgy on their feet for whatever reason. Um, that person um, who is in need of help or support is also going to be kept updated that somebody is, is on the way, somebody is helping and uh, that will hopefully reduce their stress levels, which is no bad thing. Another couple of things about the band, if uh, somebody were to accidentally trigger an alert, you can press and hold this button for three seconds and that will actually cancel uh, the SOS that's gone out. Uh, if somebody falls over, that will automatically uh, a send out an SOS, although you can turn that off, I believe. And if you want to check the battery status, now the, it has to be level for this to work, apparently. Oh, there we go. I've double tapped it, and you can see that it's come up as green. And according to the instructions, there's solid green there, the battery level is okay, and then you've got yellow at 50%, solid red, it lasts about another day, and then flashing, yeah, you're down to the last few hours. So it's really getting um, the relative who's, who's wearing it to perhaps just test it every so often. So that is a very, very quick look at the VSOS band and what it can do. And although the setup was a bit rubbish, I have to say that my initial impression of it in use is a good deal better. So I recorded that some time ago and the band has now been in use for a little while and it's been working really well. Uh, if, uh, luckily there haven't been any issues. But one thing I've noticed, for example, when the battery gets low, I get a notification as the administrator and anybody else that I've added onto the app will also get the notification to say that the battery is low. My mum's had no problems at all in knowing when the band needs charging up and she puts it on overnight to charge up and it doesn't take very long to charge up either. So it's all very good. It's given her a good sense of security. So uh, if she does fall over, she knows that she's gonna be able to summon help or it'll summon help for her. So it's really good in the family. We're very happy with it as well. Now, on to the next little issue that I had, because I set this up, as I discussed in my other bit of video, by using a website that would give me a mobile number that isn't on Vodafone so that I could then 
set the band up without having to put it onto my Vodafone account. Something that you can do if you're not a Vodafone customer, you don't have that issue, so you have more uh, flexibility for not being a Vodafone customer, which is, annoys me, really, considering this is a Vodafone product, but anyway, there you go. Now, I got a new phone, and that meant I want to transfer my app, the V by Vodafone and VSOS app, onto my new phone. But by doing that, I then had to set it up again. Now, of course, that's a problem because I then needed to get the one-time pin sent to me by text by Vodafone. So I went back to the website that I used and that, although the website's still there, it doesn't seem to be working. I put that number in, it doesn't want to know. And the problem is as well, when I contacted Vodafone, is that's the number that is associated with the VSOS band that I have. So I was completely stuffed. I didn't want to put it onto my, my number. They said they could swap it, but I didn't want to put it onto my Vodafone number. So it meant canceling the account and coming up with another way of finding another number that I could use that isn't a Vodafone number. So eventually I ordered a SIM from another mobile phone uh, network, SIM only. Luckily, I can use that SIM to receive text without actually having to put credit on. Um, I couldn't, a lot of the suppliers, you have to put credit on to activate the SIM. I managed to find a SIM that you don't have to put credit on. So I've got that SIM, and then I'm going to set that up as the number for the Vodafone VSOS band. But Vodafone said to me they have to completely cancel and start everything again. And that process, at the time of recording this, has taken about a week and a half, and I'm still waiting for them to complete the process. It looks as if they may finally have done it now because the band went offline on my old phone uh, yesterday. So this is okay, good 10 days after I initiated this process. And now I'm gonna have to reset up the band from scratch, but I'm gonna have to go and get the box because when you first start, I mentioned this earlier, there's a, a QR card code on the side of the box so that you can scan in the VSOS band um, and that sets it all up, which because I haven't got here because it's at my mum's. So I'm gonna have to go there, set it all up again from scratch, but hopefully we're there. So my bit of advice to you is if, you, well, if you're a Vodafone customer and you don't mind paying for these products on your Vodafone bill, you haven't got a problem. If you're not a Vodafone customer, then you can put a debit or credit card in and pay for it that way. Again, no problem. If you are a Vodafone customer and you don't want to pay for it on your bill, you are stuffed, frankly, and they don't give you the option to pay by debit or credit card. Vodafone, why are you doing that? That's ridiculous. The only way you can do it, the only way I've been able to do it is to get a SIM from another mobile network. Don't use a website like I did originally. Uh, if you want to change your phone, you need completely, you are up the, pad, up the creek without a paddle at that point. So get a SIM from another mobile phone company. If your phone's locked, then you're in big trouble there. Luckily, my phones are unlocked, so I can just swap the SIMs and I don't have a problem. So there, that is an issue, that's something to be aware of. But let's end on a positive. The band itself seems to work very well. We haven't been able to test it in terms of falling over, which I'm actually quite pleased about, but it does seem to work. Um, it does the job, does it, as it says on the tin. I will do a follow-up video if unfortunately we ever need to use it in anger, um, but it seems to work very well. My mother's hardly even knows she's wearing it, so it's not very intrusive for her. She doesn't feel like she's wearing something, I don't know, medical or anything. It's just a, a band that actually looks quite cool, honestly. Uh, and the family know that she's okay. She can summon and help if she needs it and it'll tell us where she is as well which is an added bonus so all very good i'm going to give it a sort of a seven out of ten because i haven't been able to test the, the the full functionality yet thankfully and because i had those setup problems but it's great to see that these products are out there and if you're interested you have any queries or questions about the vsos band just put them in the uh, comments below and i'll answer them and it might help other people um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. It's been a bit rambly, but then, you know, hey, that's what these, this channel's all about. I do rambly videos. I didn't write a script for this one. Can you tell? Uh, but please hit the like button if you did enjoy it anyway. Leave your comments, as I've said. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell if you want to find out when there's more rambly videos. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. This has been about the VSOS band by Vodafone. And I'll see you next time.